Welcome, welcome. Today I'm heading over to Harv's Island to just design a few rooms because I love designing rooms. Can't get enough rooms to design um, on my real island. I do really like the ability of just using any item you've touched and being able to customize it using as many as you want. So really cool feature that I actually didn't uh, utilize enough until I saw a bunch of TikToks with villagers in rooms and I was like, oh, that's what Harv's Island is for. Anywho, uh, just gonna design like an alternate living room, a more girly one that's kind of pink based. Right now, this is kind of my old setup. I was just shooting pictures with my villagers using that purple wallpaper and rug. So right now, I'm just kind of finding an anchor wallpaper for my pink living room, which I know I want the white grand piano to be my centerpiece. I really like this abstract wallpaper. I never got a chance to use it in any of my houses, so I'm going to go with that one. Um, and right now just kind of testing out to see what floors go well with that and it seems I've decided on one um, and what I'm going to do probably is clean up some of the seating right now I'm seeing what rugs will work well and I'm just going to go through my items and see what kind of matches the pink white color scheme and go from there You need the basics, of course, a big seating area, a TV, um, coffee table type deal. And I really wanted to use the fuchsia couches, although um, I feel like the pink might do better. And I really uh, never used, thought to use like the cool, cooler items like the Crescent Moon Chair indoors, but I do like how it looks, so wanted to make that one pink to fit in with the color scheme. I kind of like the look of the cats before they get turned into Lucky Gold. I wish I had another one because I would keep it white or maybe make it black. Right now my golden lucky cat is sitting in my dim sum restaurant bringing me business. I really like how that natural garden chair looks with the little log bench and my laptop with my coffee, just a place for me to work right next to the window. Fortunately, I don't have the fuchsia corner piece, so the pink will have to do for now. It's not intentionally two-toned, if that's what you're wondering. I've always liked how I've seen a few people kind of do a divider for their room that actually makes it look a lot bigger, whether it be sectioning it, sectioning it off with a couch, a rug, a bookcase, or anything along those lines. So here I'm just pulling out anything like pink or white that I think could possibly work well in this room. I really like the cutesy uh, items that look like fruit or flowers but are actually furniture pieces. I enjoy that in real life as well. bringing in more uh, novelty items. I, was, I like to call it like the palm tree lamp, the lily record player, all really cute to me. This is also a really great way to plan out your room without having to commit and use customization kits for things and maybe reorder something you don't have just to see kind of what it would look like. Uh, and I believe the size of this main room on Harv's is genuine to the size of your main room in your house, but the other rooms are significantly bigger here. I really wish we could have rooms uh, as big. I have a kitchen on Harv's Island that looks 
I'm pretty proud of it and I would it would be so cool if our other rooms were just as big so I can expand with more items Gotta use some Nova lights. Finally got the recipe for that. I know it's a very hot item. Didn't feel like paying 20 tickets for it. The best is when you get a good trade through an item you have and it's, I don't wanna say cashless, cashless, bellless slash ticketless. Don't forget to decorate your the walls, you guys. I think it makes a world of difference um, if your walls are decorated or not. And how awesome that I have a white wall-mounted TV, which will go very nicely in this room. I know I had the pink tapestry, but I think with the wall being kind of busy, I'll just go with like a flat white tapestry. I think those elaborate kimono stamps are so beautiful. So would definitely want to use the pink one in a pink room. Gonna use the white rattan table as my coffee table. Looks like these plants might have to go. I pulled them out just because I know decorating with plants is always nice, but they seem more forced in here. I always like to have a little side table, so I use the diner, uh, those are the diner counter chairs, which work really well. Do a little book stand on the side. Always essential to have a workbench in your house. Very nice. Right above the kimono stand, across from your TV area, have a little pink fan, a little wall light. I don't know why I always feel like clocks should go directly above the doorway. It just feels so proper. Little light switch. I think the cat tower looks pretty cute. Do you think there's too much seating with the crescent chair right next to the peach chair? I'm all Christmas dressed up. It was an outfit I got trading right before I went here. So that's why I'm dressed Christmassy. So it's starting to come together. I put away some of the items. I do like sectioning uh, out the areas with rugs. I really like that fluffy rug. I think it looks good. There's this plant that's in the way. So we'll put that away. Uh, turn the TV on and yippity do. This is the living room I would have in an alternate world where I could have a second island. Fits my girly nature. Now I just need to change my outfit to match the room. Bathrobe, gotta be comfy in the own house. Yay, so cute. And this is the ironwood kitchen I was telling you about. 
Imagine if we had that much space. I just want to switch out the refrigerator because I recently got a double door red refrigerator, which would be perfect in this room. How many of you guys want to live on your Animal Crossing island slash house? I know I would kill to do it. Gotta change into a chef outfit. Love it. I also really like that exquisite wall, so found a good use for it on Harv's at least. Back that way, I was posing for a photo op with my villagers in the pirate room. You can check it out. If you head to my Instagram, Meryl Crossing, under the same handle. I will revamp that room as well. I love having, I wish I had unlimited rooms I could decorate. This I made a little butterfly studio of. See, look at the size of these rooms. Like, look at the things you can do with all that space. This is like a bedroom, bathroom, living room in one. And I did finally get the corner piece to the turquoise sofa so I wanted to make that quick change downstairs I have another pink room I was just trying to put as many pink objects as I could find and make my villagers pose but I will be modifying that and upstairs I have made use of the cityscape wallpaper that I have in my real living room and just kind of went with the blue color scheme instead of the red. So let's go downstairs and create that second living room with uh, a brick based wallpaper. So first things first is to clean up everything. So using that brick wallpaper to kind of create a, how do you describe that style? A more traditional uh, charm style. Uh, too busy with that floor, too dark with the herringbone, although it looks very classy. Need something probably on the lighter side, I'm thinking. Uh, any excuse to use the concrete floor. And he said he wanted to use the white box sofa, so wanted to use those uh, anchor pieces and see what I can create. I really like those throwback mitt chairs. Uh, once again, I like it because it's using something that isn't supposed to be a furniture piece as a furniture piece. Using the customization of that iron workbench.
wanted to use the high-end stereo because I really like how that looks. And I love all the guitar customizations. They look so pretty. I have one in my bedroom and one in my boyfriend's bedroom right now customized to match our styles. Once again, I'm just kind of pulling out things I think would go well in the room and then we'll rearrange and take away as necessary. Necessary to have a trash bin, all the basics, gotta have your coffee table, your TV, some art on the walls, a clock probably. Those golf bags also are a piece I really like. I know I have a similar style, putting like box corner sofas in the corner with a little diner seat as a side uh, table. It's, it's interesting because I'm sure other people would set it up completely differently, but it's just funny how people have the same kind of ideas to start out. And I wanted to make use of the billiards table. I think the blue looks very nice. I used to have the red one in my living room before I expanded my deck and had enough space to move it out there which allowed me um, to move a music player into my living room. Originally I didn't have space and I hate overcrowding rooms so I didn't have music in my main room for the longest time. Even look at those beautiful customizations for something as simple as the classic picture. Always good to throw some Nova lights in there. Customizing several ironwood items to the white color to uh, bring out the white of the couch. The tool board blue will go with kind of the billiard table blue. I think I use the plaques, HHA plaques, as decoration for in many rooms. Uh, see, this is the cool thing about Harves. All these paintings that I donated to the museum I can still use on these islands. Want to have one tool board over the uh, workbench for it to kind of have the ultimate like working area feel and the other over the billiard table to match the blue. Little iron shelf over the door, imperial shelves. A little clock over the couch and I'll probably do like a picture wall above the couch as we see right here. Looking good. Now it's just a matter of placing the items on the small table. See I do the same thing a little Books, book ends on the diner chair as a side. I wish there were options to put many things on an empty shelf, even in, in layers. I know the shelves that they have in the game come pre with most stuff, except for like one slot on the top. It would be really cool to be able to build your own shelf because there's so many little pieces I always want to use, but 
obviously not enough space and don't want to clutter it or leave it on the floor. So right now I'm thinking the center needs a table, so I'm going to bring in that ironwood table, which gives me a lot more space to bring in some cute little things to fill out the room. Uh, need a laptop. Um, I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this as your man cave? I need to change into a more proper outfit because I'm no longer a chef. throw down some rugs because the concrete floor can be a bit cold but that blue uh, round rug will be a very nice touch to emphasize the blue that's in the room. like the relaxed look of that shirt dress. There we go. Now we're ready for our photo op. Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Animal Crossing content.